Not much time left. Gotta find some- Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model, corresponding to the tire prints, passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, aka Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge me. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. I need to get a grip. Give it some time to pass. Definitely no more... The tube is there. So close. All I have to do is take it. Everything will be... It's the only way. I'm going to flush it. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, 
No, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Well, to old friends. <sighs> I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, well let's have a look. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. A royal five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a royal five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> now, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Oh, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello?
He's dead. Oh, God. Scott? Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manhattan's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. He didn't deserve to go like that. Don't forget to clean Lawrence Prince, too. We don't want her to be mixed up in this. Quick! Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. I'm almost finished. I'm running out of time. Gotta move faster. The glasses. The telephone. What else? Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. Where did we leave Prince? Remember, fast. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. The deal's off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. And I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Your son is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not going to bring him back to life. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car!
It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Lauren! him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Don't look him in the eyes. Just shoot. Come on. Think of Sean. Think of Sean. Shit, I can't. I can't. He opens up. I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it. For Sean. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand... Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you're coming to my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Oh, you stop fucking moving! Whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> We're both fathers, for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. He's got a family just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's got to be another way. 
I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan was supposed to cut his finger lives here. Not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some Betropin. Told me he got it from you. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um... um I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back.
goddamn rain. Soaking wet. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. The scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Can you stop that thing? Tom and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of a name. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Gotta take a walk. I don't trust this guy. Tuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Blood. Now why is there blood here? The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. Fingerprints, probably Mad Jack's. Size 10, most likely a visitor. Not the car I'm looking for. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Ari, comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage.
few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it, killer's car was here. on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Ugh. Broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You wouldn't scare me with the CSI. You ain't got it in you. I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Do you like fireworks, Jack? Cause I bet them gas tanks are gonna blow up real nice. Shit, man, don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident cause you won't barely be able to talk, will ya, Jack? You a crazy motherfucker, you out of your mind, man! No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon and the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man.
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I'll get started right away, so I'll be ready when she finishes her shower. Hope I didn't leave any prints in Manfred's shop. The last thing I need is to have to start explaining things to the cops. Ah, poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. I should prep those scrambled eggs. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. Eggs should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren... Uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him.
The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further on. Thanks. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Hey, Lauren! I found it! These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. Drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! 